well, that's a hard one because things are looking real bleak. But where my hope is, is that we as a people are strong. I have faced adversity in my life, and my attitude is, okay, you know, I've cried and whined about it a little bit. It's time to pull up my boots and get on the road. And what am I going to do now? And that is literally my attitude about anything that goes wrong. Okay, I can fuss and whine and cuss a little and, you know, kick a cow patty. But when all is said and done, I'm like, okay, now what are you going to do about it? And I see that coming out in the people, in the interest in politics. We are where we are. It's our own fault oh, oh, that yes. we I've are said where that. we are. People look at me funny. What do you mean? No. Well, we are. Because we, we, we haven't been paying at attention. That's right. There you go. Let's give a sleep at the wheel. Of, uh, right. Yeah, they, little, they came up with the title before us. Uh, amen. And they're good, it. too. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, um, but here's the thing. We are awakening. And when we wake up and put our minds to it, I mean, you know, we put men on the moon. We won World War II. We have done a lot of amazing things. We are an amazing people. And we are waking up and paying attention. I was at a uh, spring fling a couple weeks ago in Jewett, Texas. That's as country as you can get. And there were two ladies in there that each had a booth. One was so middle-aged, late 40s, maybe early 50s. The other was a young woman. And they were sitting across the aisle from each other. And they were, had crafty things for sale. And were they talking about where did you get your fabric? Or what kind of machine do you use to stitch this up? Or what do you think about the traffic through here? Are you doing any sales? Where do you sell best? No. You know what they're talking about? Health care. Politics. I went over and bought a casserole carrier because, you know, we church women have to take our, our food to church. And I said, I need to take this back over here and see, you know, check with my friends, see if our dishes are going to fit in there. And uh, I said, I'll, I'll bring back a check. And when I did, she said, you need to talk to this lady over here. And I'm um, that quick. You know, we're talking politics, three of us. Because people bring up, yeah. they, they recognize and realize that we're in trouble. The prayer at last night at the Chamber of Commerce banquet in Rosebud, Texas, was God, we're scared. Mm. What's going to happen to our little town? And four counties in this district are nothing but rural, small towns. You know, wake up us as a big city. Mm -hmm. But you all have the same problems on a different scale. You still need jobs. You need security. You need housing. Mm -hmm. So you tell me, if you were in my district, yeah. would I mean, you I, vote I'd for run. me? I'd